Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at the market leading stocks via our proprietary scans for the coming session. This is going to be for Wednesday, January 15th, 2013. We're definitely seeing some decent volume today. It's kind of a mirror image uh, of yesterday as far as the actual price action goes. Not getting a whole lot of, uh, of signals here, but there are some, uh, some standouts in the uh, different sectors. We've got an open close deviation in Adobe. Biogen strongly above the open, and so is CLAC KLA 10 core. We've got a couple of volume bumps to look at, too. We've got one in uh, the CLAC. We've also got one in EA Entertainment Arts. We're probably going to get one in uh, Biogen BIIB before the close. Don't have any real uh, bias as far as signals, just just, uh, just a couple of buy uh, on the buy side here with Apple and BlackBerry. Moving on to the financials, we were kind of sniffing out some weakness. Uh, from yesterday and uh, we definitely did see some weakness it's definitely one of the groups that's uh, seriously underperforming the market BTK is only up about half as much as the broad market uh, no signals here today but there are some volume bumps uh, JP Morgan trading good volume uh, Sally May and also uh, Wells Fargo and a couple of those are uh, on the heels of earnings releases moving on to the energy patch we're kinda down in volume here for sure uh, we do have an upside RPS signal uh, in uh, PBR, but uh, for the most part, we don't have any uh, any strong deviations either way in the energy sector. Moving on to the generals again, um, might be a little disappointed that we don't have a lot of uh, signals here, but that also means that we may not uh, follow through to the upside yesterday. In fact, we may retrace a bit. We do have an upside CPS condition in uh, Hewlett Packard HPQ. Got a nice open close deviation to go with that, so that's definitely going to be on my list for tomorrow. Uh, Best Buy's got a VWAP deviation to the upside. Uh, they're dressing it up here into the close, and that's on good volume. Also seeing good volume today in Pfizer, VMware, and Verizon. Moving on to the housing names, no signals here. This this group is fairly lackadaisical today. The only thing that's really moving is uh, NVR is about more than 1% above the day's open. As far as the transports go, CSX trading some pretty good volume, having a pretty strong day. FedEx is uh, not trading great volume, but it's having a pretty strong day and definitely stronger than the overall broad market. And finally, moving on to the commodities, pretty good weakness in most of the commodities, especially the metals. The uh, uh, metals are mostly weaker here. Uh, ABX has a downside CPS condition, and so does Double G. Double G is also 3% below the day's open. Some of the uh, agriculture names are actually having strong days. Potash, P-O-T, is 2.5% above the day's open with a volume bump. And Mosaic, M-O-S, 3 and 3 and three quarters percent above the day's open. That one's also with the volume bump. So this is going to have a real, real nice candle on the daily chart. All right, folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.